Yellow Group. Here's your workbook for Tuesday, April 28th. And you know what to do on this first page. Write your name, just like mine. J E N. Jen. Good job. And on the second page here. This could be a little tricky for you guys in the yellow room, but I think you can do it with a little help, maybe for mom and dad. Now we are gonna start at the arrow right here. And do you see the hamburgers down here? You're gonna take your crayon and you're gonna start to draw a line from one to the other. Now don't forget, you can stop this video so you can ask for help or try to do it on your own. And you can always come back to where I left off. But I'm gonna start up here and go all the way down and find all of those hamburgers and go one to another to another and all the way down to the star. You did it. Good job. Oh, and here, what color do you think these things are on this page? We have corn, a banana, a crayon, and a duck. Did you say yellow? That's right. You get that yellow crayon out and color each picture Y for yellow. Good job. Y for yellow. Perfect. Ooh, and look at this shape. What shape do you see here? That's right, this is a oval. And you're gonna take your red crayon and come down here and stay on those dotted lines and trace the ovals. One, two, and three. And if you want to come back up here to the page and you can color in the big oval up top. Good job. And our last page is about counting. Now this one, you might need a little help counting for mom and dad also, and that's okay. Here we have the numbers zero, one, two, three, four, five. Now look here, look how many birds are in this picture, one, two, three, four. That's right. Now, do you see where number four is? There it is. Look, they helped you with this one. So you're gonna draw a line from the birds all the way to number four, because there are four birds. Now the next one, oh, uh-oh. Where did all the birds go in this one? Are there any birds? No, so that would be zero. So where is that zero? Here it is. So draw a line from here, because there's no birds, to the zero. Good. And look at this one. This one has one little bird on it. Do you see where number one is? Oh, that's right, there it is. So draw a line from this bird all the way to number one. Good job. And you might need a little help with this. That's okay. Ask mom or dad for help. Good job. All right, so now our book for Tuesday is Eight Silly Monkeys. There were eight silly monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. There were seven silly monkeys. They were skipping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys skipping on the bed. Then there were six silly monkeys tumbling on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys tumbling on the bed. Five silly monkeys were dancing on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys dancing on the bed. 
then there were four silly monkeys eating on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys eating on the bed. And then there were three, three silly monkeys swinging on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys swinging on the bed. And two silly monkeys were sliding on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys sliding on the bed. One silly monkey spinning on the bed. He fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys spinning on the bed. But nobody mentioned anything about jumping on the couch. So then you had 10 little monkeys jumping on the couch. Don't do that at home.